Springfield and Clark County officials finally addressing the increase of Haitian migrants in Springfield. We've been pressing the city for comment for days now after months of social media posts slandering the Haitian community there. We tell our kids not to bully one another and I hear adults in our community saying the most hateful things. Many rumors have been floating around, some exaggerating the number of Haitian immigrants in Springfield, up to 20,000. Mayor Rob Rue debunked that today. We have realistically been saying 12 to 15,000 immigrants is what, we've, uh, what we have counted through the health department and other agencies. Some rumors even saying Haitian residents in Springfield are abusing animals and eating them. We heard from both sides of those rumors tonight. But about the ducks and the cats, I'm a crazy cat lady in my town, and, my, and I'm not missing any. Everybody's present and accounted for. And you used to be able not to drive through that park without not having to stop four or five times. Man, you could drive 20 miles an hour now. Where'd they go? I, and I've lived here all many, 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 many years. Where did they go? However, city leaders say that rumor is completely false. Being in a leadership role right now is like a game of whack-a-mole where we jump to extinguish one myth at a time. The parents of Aiden Clark also spoke at tonight's city council meeting. The 11 year old boy was tragically killed in a 2023 school bus crash. The driver that hit the bus was a Haitian immigrant. His parents want their neighbors and political leaders across the nation to stop using Aiden's death as an immigration talking point. They've spoken my son's name and used his death for political gain. This needs to stop now. City leaders echoing that sentiment. It is not okay to harass our neighbors. It's not okay to harass anyone for how they drive, for how they talk, for how they look. 